Okay, so, sorry about the delay on everything. I kind of, I had some stuff I had to work out. Uh, with the investment, we have to pay in 10% of what our investment is. We have to pull out everything. We have to pay in 10% of what the investment is to pull out. So, I'm just going to keep adding to it. And I'm going to start putting back money to cover for that. So, God's got this. We'll be fine. We've already discussed everything, and we'll, we'll be okay. So, anyway. <sighs> All right. So, this, this one is on peppermint bark. Homemade peppermint bark recipe. Only four ingredients, guys. All right. Here we go. And my daughter's going to be making quite a bit of money because I've got a lot of videos that she will have been working on. So that's okay because that gives her money too. Easy homemade peppermint bark. Forget the expensive Williams Sonoma, Son Sonoma version. I cannot talk. This easy peppermint bark recipe will let you make your own in just minutes. Perfect for Christmas parties, gift giving events, or just because. This homemade peppermint bark tastes even better than the original. And with only four ingredients needed, it's simple to whip up any time. There's so many treats we love to make during the holiday season. From giant ginger snap molasses cookies to homemade cherry cheesecake and even cinnamon roasted almonds. Yum. But our favorite is this classic peppermint bark. And maybe you're wondering why someone would take the time to make their own peppermint bark instead of just buying it at the store? Well, for a few reasons. Number one, ingredient quality. When you can make it yourself, you can control the quality of the ingredients, organic, dairy-free, vegan, and so on, or the amount of peppermint flavor and so much more. Number two, cost. Making your own peppermint bark is significantly cheaper even using all our organic ingredients. And even if you haven't seen the cost of store-bought peppermint bark in a while, let me show you. The original Williams Sonoma peppermint bark is $64.95 for two pounds. That's a lot. And the stuff that you get at, like, Family Dollar and Dollar General, that's not real. So that doesn't count. <laughs> Instead of the $32.47 for a pound that Williams Sonoma retails their peppermint bark for, this version makes two pounds of peppermint bark for only $13.30 if you use all organic ingredients. That's just like paying $6.65 a box. This is an exciting or this is an 88% savings. If you're as excited about those savings as I am, let's dig into making this peppermint bark. Three tips for the best peppermint bark. This peppermint bark is a fan around fan favorite around my house at Christmas time. I usually end up making two to three batches during the season because it disappears so quickly. And after 15 years of making it, here are a few things I've learned that make a huge difference in the finished peppermint bark. Number two, or number one, don't cut corners on ingredients. Be sure to use high quality chocolate, both dark and white, for high quality taste. Cheap ingredients will taste cheap. Plus, even buying the good chocolate, you'll still be saving a ton of money as we've talked about. Number two, take your time. Allow the base layer to set for at least 30 minutes before adding the top layer of chocolate. This ensures clean, well-defined layers and prevents them from blending together. You'll add the peppermints to the top layer while it's still warm, but trying to spread the white chocolate when the dark chocolate is still wet will result in a messy, marbled finish instead of those crisp layers you're used to seeing. Number three, crush your own peppermints. 
You can buy pre-crushed peppermints and the bark will taste great. But if you want to mimic the original as closely as possible, I suggest crushing your own with a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin. This way you get a nice variety of sizes instead of fairly small pieces inside a pre-crushed bag. Ingredients. We talked about this before, but in case you skipped that section, I want to say it again. Use high quality ingredients in this recipe if you can. One of the reasons this recipe is as good as the original is because I believe in high quality ingredients. If you get the cheapest version of the necessary items, it will taste cheap. This recipe is already a huge saving, so go ahead and buy the good chocolate for this one. Dark chocolate. Well, you can use milk chocolate because of the creamy taste in the white chocolate. The milk chocolate layer will not stand out as much as a dark chocolate layer. White chocolate. There is no substitute for white chocolate in a traditional peppermint bark recipe. However, you can do a milk and dark chocolate combo instead if you want to skip the white chocolate. Now, with white chocolate, I'm going to suggest that you go online or to a big Walmart store or something like that to see about getting real white chocolate. You don't want to use the vanilla stuff. It's just not the same. You want that real white chocolate if you're going to go with the white chocolate. Crushed peppermints. Any crushed peppermint will do. You can buy pre-crushed peppermints in the baking section of most grocery stores, or you can crush your own from peppermint candies or candy canes. I prefer to crush my own from candy canes so that I have more shape variety and do not simp and not simply peppermint powder. Peppermint extract. You can use any peppermint extract if you have food grade essential oils. You can use 13 total drops divided for this recipe. Instructions. Do not let the long instruction list fool you. This recipe is so simple, but we, be warned, you'll end up wanting to make it over and over again this holiday season. This full printable recipe at the end is at the end of the post. Yeah. Again, I'm reading it, obviously. Prep. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. 2. Melt. Melt the dark chocolate in a double boiler or the microwave and add half of the pepper peppermint oil or extract they say 13 i say take it to 14 and add seven drops in the chocolate and the white chocolate seven each mix until well combined number three spread pour onto the lined baking tray and spread evenly until about a quarter inch thick that's about like that number four set Place the pan in the fridge and allow to set until hard, about 15 to 30 minutes. You want to wait, like she said, 30 minutes. No less. 30 minutes. Melt. All right, number five. Melt. Melt the white chocolate in a double boiler or the microwave. Do not use the vanilla. Go for the real white chocolate. Number six, mix. Add the other half of the peppermint oil or extract and mix quickly. Number seven, layer. Pour over the dark chocolate and spread evenly until the dark chocolate is covered. Number seven, I think that was seven. Nope, that's number eight. Number seven. Number eight. Sprinkle. Sprinkle crushed peppermints over melted white chocolate. Gently press candy into chocolate to help it stay put when broken later. Number 10, or 9, sorry, I can't count today. Chill. Place the peppermint bark back in the fridge and allow it to set completely. Number 10, break. Once the chocolate is set, break it into bite-sized pieces and store it in an airtight container for up to a month. And there you go. Common questions. Can I use any type of chocolate for making the peppermint bark? While well, you can use various types of chocolate, it's best to use high quality dark and white chocolate for a delicious and creamy result. Can I store peppermint bark at room temperature? Peppermint bark can be stored at room temperature in a cool, dry place. However, if your kitchen is warm, refrigerate it to prevent melting. How can I store... How how long can I store peppermint bark? Properly stored, peppermint bark will last for several weeks. Keep it in an airtight container to maintain freshness. 
Can I freeze peppermint bark for long-term storage? Yes, you can freeze peppermint bark. Wrap it tightly in plastic wrap and place it in an airtight container before freezing. It can be stored for up to two to three months. Can I customize my peppermint bark with other toppings? Absolutely. Get creative with toppings like crushed nuts, pretzels, or even drizzles, drizzles of additional chocolate for a personalized touch. How do I achieve clean, even cuts when breaking the bark into pieces? To create clean cuts, use a sharp knife and score the bark while it's still slightly soft. Once fully set, break it along the scored lines. Can I make a large bat batch of peppermint bark for gifting? Yes, peppermint bark is an excellent homemade gift. Scale up the recipe as needed and package it in the festive, in festive tins or boxes for delightful holiday presents. Any way you look at it, this recipe is an absolute knockout. It only takes a few minutes of effort and you save big by doing it yourself. Okay, and that was all for the easy peppermint bark. Easy homemade peppermint bark. So, there you have it. And that what? And I think I might make this the last one I work on so Chloe has time to get the intros on there and I have time to get them uploaded because my computer kind of, it takes a minute to get them uploaded. So, I am going to make this the last one that I do. I might do another devotional video while she's, no, I can't do that because she needs my computer. That was it just anyway but i will get off from here and i will let her do the intros and i will start getting the videos out so i will see you guys on the next video probably in the morning i will try to be up around 7 30 so i can do my 7 30 maybe 8 i don't even know what time i have to work tomorrow so I can do my uh, devotional video. I really want to do like my devotionals off from the U version, the my plan thing. So anyway, but I'm gonna get off from here and I will get these uploaded and I will see you guys on the next one. You guys all have a good day, have a good night. And let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas gifts and whether you're home making stuff or whatever you're doing. I'm just interested to hear. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.